hello baby boss and welcome back to my channel we are doing your next 48 this is episode 18 and 19 for baby boss sun moon rising and the north node if you have questions about getting a reading you know what to do check that description box if you are um wanting to become a patreon member i only have nine spots left uh at this time after those nine spots are filled i'm not taking any more clients okay so all right so let's see what's going on with the uh messages what's coming in for you baby boss all right sun moon rising in the north node i apologize for the aesthetics here you guys i am transitioning out of the faceless reading so i put my cards away in the respective spots well they will be from now on all right so let's see but i, I tried to do something <laughs> all right baby boss sun moon rising in the north node where are the messages all right let's see what the messages are Okay, baby boss, sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Wow, the empress is coming out again. We have the star card, and then we have the empress. Wow, it's two majors. Somebody's a big deal. Yeah, we have, wow, three majors. Somebody's a really big deal, super big deal. All right, the full card, I'm getting, you are literally going towards, you're going towards this person. I'm getting, it could be a Libra, a Taurus, or an Aquarian, but this could be all the same person with all the same um, attributes, characteristics. I'm getting, you are going towards a star. I'm getting, you're taking that leap of faith. You're going to reach out. You're going to say something. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to say something to them. Fuck it. So I'm getting, you could, I'm getting, you could be actually sitting somewhere and you see a celebrity. You decide to go talk to them or ask them something or reach out or ask for an autograph. You, you just decide to say something. You decide to make your presence known. Very bold of you, baby boss. I'm not surprised at all, but this is your counterpart, the Empress, Libra or Taurus. And I'm getting your, I'm getting your making that movie. Like, you know what? I want you, you know, I want this. All right. I feel like you're talented. I feel like you're beautiful. I just, I want you. All right. So I'm getting, I'm getting a brand new start. I'm also getting to, you are discovering your talents. I'm getting somebody here is crazy fucking talented with the star card and the empress. Somebody is a mogul. Somebody's a guru. Somebody's a genius. Okay. I'm getting somebody is a star by birth. Like it's, it's like, it's your birthright. Because if, you, if you're pulling like these type of energies coming out, yeah, somebody is like a master mason. Somebody is like chosen. I'm getting somebody is a chosen one, a star seed. Yeah, we have the moon card. All these, they're, you a big at, you a big deal. Shit, majors. Yo, are you kidding me? I'm getting you are approaching a tarot reader, an occultist, someone who's a master mason. Okay, someone who's very experienced, someone someone who has all the answers, star card empress and the, the star card empress and the high priestess. This person is a big deal. I'm getting you're dealing with a celebrity, a celebrity card reader, celebrity occultist. I'm getting you could be even approaching somebody that's in the occult, maybe because because the, the the fool card is initiation, it's being initiated into the occult. The fool, two balls and a cane, two ball cane. Those of you who are in the mysteries will know what that means. But we do have, we have two balls and we have a cane here, okay? So initiation, I'm getting this is you, baby boss. You're being initiated or you have been initiated here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like this is major. I'm getting a major shift is about to happen in your life. Something that you're not expecting, something that has been hidden from you. I'm getting secrets are coming to the light. Be mindful who you talk to, who you share your feelings with, your emotions with, who you just... If somebody comes if somebody comes towards you asking you for advice or somebody comes towards you asking you about somebody else or the make sure you keep your mouth shut cuz I'm kind of getting you're being tested here your loyalty is being tested make sure you keep your mouth closed make sure you don't make sure you do not speak unless you're spoken to and do not say more than necessary okay cuz I'm getting somebody someone's trying to get someone's trying to get something out of you a secret someone's trying to dip tap into your emotions or your subconscious but i'm getting you're way too powerful for that but i'm getting you may even you may know that somebody is testing your loyalty or testing your patience or somebody's just doing something for the sake of doing it i'm getting this is a part of your initiation so make sure you're vigilant make sure you pay attention yeah close your mouth keep your mouth closed do not share what you know don't say shit i don't care what somebody asks you don't say shit it's not their business it's not your business to say that's not my business yeah, so I'm getting somebody's trying to get you to reveal a secret. Don't do it. Don't talk about nobody behind their back. Don't do none of that shit. Because I'm getting like, I'm getting there's somebody watching you that's very important. I'm getting you're being tested here. Here's the moon. Don't say anything, baby boss. I, I don't care who, who comes toward, come towards you. 
If someone says, hey, do you, do you know about this Libra Taurus? Nope, I ain't got nothing. Nope. Hey, do you know about this? Nope. Do you know about magic? Nope. Do you know about this spell? Nope. Hey, what's the secrets? I don't know. I just like, you don't know shit. You don't know shit. Don't say shit. Don't comment on shit. Okay, what's the moon card? And I'm getting, if you are talking to someone right now, stop. I'm getting, if you're talking to a mysterious person or somebody just came, somebody came out of nowhere asking you questions about you, about your talents, about your abilities, about your gifts, about magic, about the occult, do not just stop talking to them right now because it's a trick. I'm getting, it's a test. Okay, what's the moon card? Yeah, I'm getting you should go ghost on this person. Now, that's the first message I'm getting. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. I'm also getting to a mistress, though, for others of you, other, another another group who are not in, who, are, who this is not for. I mean, it's for all of you, but I'm getting this first message is for a very, very, very specific group of individuals watching this. For those of you who are not in that lifestyle or not in the occult, I'm getting like a mistress. I'm getting your period is late as well. I'm getting you know that you're pregnant because your period is late or this is what you're telling yourself. Okay, what is the moon card? Or what is the moon? Or you know that somebody is pregnant by you or that somebody's pregnant or that someone's going to get pregnant. I'm going to keep that shit to yourself. What's the moon card? Yeah, we have the Hierophant. You know that someone's in a relationship. I'm getting a lot of majors for you, baby boss. I really think that is, I really think I have, it's, it's very imperative that you do not speak. Okay, you just listen. What's the Hierophant? Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, do not speak. Just listen. Because I'm getting like something about the military, the government, the IRS, something like that. Because the Nine of Wands to me represents experience. It represents um, expecting, it, it represents being prepared, expecting the worst. It also represents insecurities, being apprehensive. Yeah, so I'm getting like somebody, somebody could be trying to apprehend you or arrest you or detain you. Don't say anything. Until you have a lawyer. If this is like a court thing, don't say anything yet. Because I'm getting like somebody, somebody's, throwing, somebody's throwing the rule book the rule book or the law book at your ass. Like somebody's throwing the book at you. All right, what's the nine of wands? But I'm getting do not say anything. I'm getting the more you say, the more you're going to get caught up. Less is more in this situation. I, I'm not, if this is not like a court thing, I'm just getting, this is, a, it's a time where you don't speak. Okay, what's the nine of wands? Or you don't reveal what you know. You can speak, but don't talk too much. Okay, yeah, we have the knight of swords. Yeah, somebody wants to know something. I'm getting somebody who's very pushy for information. Someone's asking you a lot of questions about this person. Okay, yeah, somebody's trying to, somebody's prying you for information. Yeah, we have the two of swords. You don't know shit. I don't know shit. I didn't see shit. Yeah, I'm getting it's important that you are indifferent. Do not take sides. Be impartial. Okay, let's go around. Let's go around again for you. Let's go around real quick again. All right, so this is very interesting. Very interesting, baby boss. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm getting like to it. Like, even if it's very tempting or you have the urge to speak bad about somebody, don't do it. Be stay impartial, stay fair. Okay, stay indifferent. Whatever, whatever you do, don't say, don't choose any sides. Look, that's all I know. That you know, like whatever. Okay, so let's see. What is the star? I'm getting be professional, keep it professional because I'm getting the high priestess. Yeah, I'm getting you're going to someone who's fair, someone who gives advice, but this person's very impartial. They're not going to choose sides. So I'm getting if you're looking for someone to choose sides, they're not going to do that. Someone is very fair and honest, a high priestess. Someone, somebody, somebody, somebody may ask for both sides of the story, but they're not going to choose yours or not, they're not going to choose theirs. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have, yeah, okay, we have the temperance. Okay, what is the imprints? We have so many majors come. This is so crazy. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting your silence is imperative because it's, I'm getting your silence or your words can create a shift. Like something that you say, your words are so powerful. You have the power to create shift. You have the power to control time or whatever this is. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, it's all up to you and what you say, how you say it, baby boss. Cause here you are sitting with your divine counterpart. Now this could be a mistress trying to interfere in your relationship or someone is trying to get somebody else involved because i'm getting you're sitting here with your you're sitting here with your divine counterpart what is the empress and the emperor doing because i'm getting like i'm getting like somebody knows that you're supposed to be with a certain person baby boss because it's coming out loud and clear i'm getting i'm getting you and this person can change the world can change lives i'm getting just i'm i'm, I'm getting like you just you guys just being together is enough to change the world like just seeing you guys together your energy together what you guys exude together i'm getting that shit is hella powerful yo 
I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting when people are around you, they become initiated just from being around you. The energy is that powerful. It's that magnetic. Okay. What's the emperor and the empress? Yeah. So I'm getting somebody's trying to interfere with this. Somebody wants you to choose sides or it's like somebody wants you to go against your, what is the emperor and the empress? I'm getting a power couple here. You guys are unstoppable. What is the emperor and the empress? Or you guys were, but I'm getting somebody detached from the situation. Maybe you thought somebody was the one, but I'm getting, I'm getting you're meant to be with somebody else. This person, okay, what is the what is the emperor and the empress doing together? Why are they sitting here together? What were they doing? Yeah, we have the magician nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like, no, you're not the one for me. But there you are again, appearing twice, baby boss. I'm getting you're taking actions to be to, to be single here. But I'm, I'm getting you could be dealing with another Aries trying to take your place because it almost because my, my thing is the emperor is higher than the magician to me, even though the magician is a manifester, a conjurer. The emperor is like a master of self. The emperor is self mastery, the master of everything. He's over all the kings, all the queens, over all the cards. The emperor is the highest. He's above the hierophant. He's a, he's above the high priestess. He calls the fucking shots. But I'm getting there's another Aries, another baby boss trying to manipulate you or trying to take your place because i'm getting like i'm getting like somebody is beneath you yeah somebody's trying to get to where you are nine of pentacles but they're not there yet i'm getting somebody's way off from the empress the emperor they're not you they're just the nine of pentacles but i'm getting somebody is trying to mimic you or be like you or someone's trying to somebody could be trying to spend time with you to like i don't know mimic you or copy you or something like that but i'm getting like somebody somebody could be trying to bite your style or bite your swag what's another word for mimic I can't think of it. Shit. Somebody put that shit in the in the in the call in the uh in the comments. Okay, what is the full card? Okay, let's move this back a tad, baby boss, so you guys can see. Okay, what's the full, please? Because I'm I'm kind of getting somebody was trying to take your place, and the Empress, the Empress was like, no, you're not the Emperor. You're not the Emperor. You're not my Emperor. Or you're not, or you're like, no, you're not my Empress. Okay, what's the what's the what's the magician? What is the magician? Because that is your energy. I'm getting us another. We have Ace of Cups. So I'm getting us somebody new in the picture, trying to infiltrate this relationship or trying to come between you and your empress. Somebody knows that this is like you're supposed to be with this person, but I'm getting somebody is trying to be like you, mimic you, copy you, take your place, but they just can't. They're not the. They're not the empress. They're not the emperor. They're not you. I'm getting they're trying to be you, but they're they're just not. What's the higher? What's the full card? What is the full? I'm getting to somebody could even be um, somebody could be probing you for information or like talking like you, behaving like you. I'm getting like somebody is studying you almost because it's like somebody wants to be you. What's the full card? Yeah, we have the justice. That Libra card is coming up again because I'm, I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting a Libra Aries couple. I'm getting I'm getting two couples that that are consisting of Libra and Aries. But I'm getting this couple right here. This Libra Aries couple they you, you, they can't be fucked with. These, this couple right here, they're not on the same page. So I'm getting somebody could be trying to mimic you and your significant other or be like you guys or something like that. Yeah, somebody left. I'm getting somebody's leaving. I'm getting you're leaving a Libra to be with another Libra. But I'm getting these two people are very similar, but not the same. Because we do have two major arcanas coming out, but they're not, they're not quite the same. I mean, she's the, the justice card is karma. So it's the part of Libra that represents karmic, karmic ties, you know, justice, unions, partnerships, marriage. Okay, so it's that part of Libra. The Empress is the, the Empress is Venus. It's the feminine part of Libra. It's Libra itself in her purity at her peak or at his peak. Okay, what's the full card justice? Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting like you're leaving like a replica or something to go back to the original or to go back to the, the one true empress or something like that this is a very interesting reading baby boss what is the uh what is the uh full, full card yeah we have the five of cups yeah i'm getting because this person is, is a disappointment they're not who you thought they were i'm getting to you're not attracted to them as much as the empress they're just not who you thought they're 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 not the empress or they're not the they're not you okay they're i'm getting there they just don't they just don't have it Okay, what is the so I'm getting I'm getting to you're disappointed with somebody's sexual performance or you're not physically attracted to somebody anymore. Like I'm getting you just feel disappointed or let down by this connection. But I'm getting it's fairly new. But I'm getting you had some you had something that was powerful, but you let you let it go for the nine of pentacles. Because uh, I'm kind of getting you let go of your empress to be with someone that you thought was like her, but they're not. They're just they're a letdown. 
I'm getting somebody is like, somebody only wanted you for sexual reasons or somebody's like, somebody's very sexual here. Okay, now that the, the king of the queen of wands is cool. She's sexy, she's flirty, she's fiery, she's outgoing, she's fun to be around. Okay, she's ambitious, she's a self starter, she's very, very confident, very magical, but she's not the empress. All right, so I'm getting like similarities, but not the same. So I'm getting like you're, you're sad about this. I mean, I'm getting like somebody let you down, or you let somebody down, or you're missing someone. Okay, five of cups, uh. Yeah, we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting you wasted your time with this other person and you're leaving them. Yeah, I'm getting was a huge waste of time, a huge letdown, disappointment. It's not what you thought. Okay, what is the high priestess? Because I'm, 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 like, I'm getting like you saw someone. Because it's, it's almost like a case where somebody saw you with this other person, how you treated them. And somebody wanted a piece of that. So somebody interfered or intervened. But you did not you did not give this person what you gave that empress. So I'm getting you treated this person completely different. Like somebody was expecting you to give them what you gave her. But you're not, you're not doing that. So somebody feels like they wasted, they, they, um, they wasted their time. Or you don't treat them the same way you, you treated the other person. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's going to be single. Yeah, somebody is like, yeah, somebody got played or so, I'm getting I'm getting somebody tried to come in between you. I'm getting somebody did. Yeah, the 10 of cups. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting somebody was happy as your somebody was happy as your um your your mistress or the mistress is happy. What's the will of but I'm getting something's about to shift. Something shifted. Yeah, the two of pentacles back to juggling. Yeah, cuz somebody's like, "No, I I think I want my empress back or something like that." Because yeah, I'm getting like I'm getting like somebody saw how happy you were or, or, or how happy you made someone without realizing that without realizing the how awesome this person was. I'm getting somebody tried to compete and somebody failed. Someone's gonna fail. I'm getting right now this person is happy, but I'm getting you are not treating this person how you treated somebody else. I hope this makes sense. Okay, yeah, the high the high yeah, somebody's sad because you don't treat them the same way. I'm getting you treat somebody like a fuck, like a like a like a friendly fuck or something. But you treated this person like a queen. Okay, what is the high priestess? Or someone's doing this to you? High priestess, ten of cups. Yeah, we have the three of swords. Yeah, the whoever the mistress is, the mistress is getting cut off. I'm getting if you have a mistress or you were dealing, maybe your uh, emperor or your empress had a mistress or a mister. That person, that that that's, that shit is over with. Yeah, I'm getting somebody, I'm getting somebody thought the grass was greener, but I'm getting, I'm getting the grass was greener for you, not for this person. So I'm getting, I'm getting somebody treated you a certain way that they don't treat everybody. They don't, they don't treat everybody else the same way. They treat you that way because you're special. You are the empress. I'm getting somebody else was not the empress. Somebody was trying to be, but it was, it's a fail. Yeah. Somebody's going to get their heart broken. Okay. What is the two of pentacles? The two of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the, I'm getting the honeymoon is definitely fucking over here. Yeah, the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody, so I'm getting somebody wants to come back. Okay, what's the two of pentacles, queen of pentacles? Yeah, so I'm getting like, I'm getting, you could be dealing with an earth sign now or something like that. After all this commotion, you could be dealing with an earth sign or it's an earth sign that came in between you and your empress or something like that. Or your empress is, I don't know, you, you choose what this is, you choose what side you're on here, baby boss. I don't know. All right, let's see. But I'm getting now somebody's dealing with an earth sign. Something shifted. Okay, because I'm getting you left your empress to be with somebody else. And now, now she's dealing with this person or something like that. Or this is you. Okay, two of pentacles, queen of pentacles, please. Yeah, the lover's card. Yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting like she moved on. Okay, what's the three of swords? Or she, like she's dealing with, you know, she's dating somebody new or she's with you're with somebody new. Okay, what's the three of swords? But I'm kind of getting like you you put somebody that like above this person and they weren't they yeah, ten of wands. Yeah, I'm getting like yeah, are you all you get for your trouble is stress and a burden. So I'm getting it was fun while it lasted. I'm getting the sex could have been really good too, but I'm getting it's ending up like this, three of swords, ten of wands. You're ending up with a broken heart and a lot of stress. All right, so I'm gonna pull some oracle cards. Yeah, the five of wands trolling fighting arguing bickering yeah i'm getting like somebody's life is in shambles right now but i'm getting like somebody knew that somebody was happy with someone and they and they info they they intervened and now they they got fucked literally somebody got fucked and dumped is what i'm seeing or somebody was just a fuck or this is how somebody was treated and now someone's like damn okay what is the um so somebody could be trolling you that feels like you know okay let's pull some oracle card let me get an oracle card for baby boss, please. 
Oracle card for Baby Boss. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have Shanghai fragments. Yeah, so I'm getting like you're still dealing with the situation parts of it. I'm getting it is subsiding. All right, but I'm getting like if you left this person, you guys could be getting back together with the lover's card, possibly. Okay, I'm getting like on again, off again thing could be on again. There's going to be a shift. I'm getting Uranus has a lot to do with this, but we have fragments. Okay, because I'm getting like somebody's trying to conjure up a new beginning with you. Somebody wants new love with you. I'm not getting any apologies though, but I'm getting somebody is remorseful and regretful for what they did or what they said. All right, let's pull some love cards for you, baby boss. I want to put a love card up here. All right, let's see. Because I'm getting like somebody now is seeing you with somebody else like, damn, I lost my empress or I lost my emperor. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's see. But it's almost like, baby boss, you knew that this shit wasn't going to last. Like, you're sitting here like, I knew that shit wasn't going to last. Like, I told you so. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting that's what you were keeping a secret. Like, you knew that you knew that shit wasn't going to work. You knew that somebody was going to end up running back to you. Or you knew that somebody wasn't you. Like, she ain't me or that's not me. Yeah, we have chemistry. We have healing family issues. Yeah, somebody... Yeah, I'm not getting a family issue, but I'm, I'm getting something regarding healing. You wasted your time, it seems like. Yeah, we have unrequited love. I'm getting somebody was not in love with you or you were not in love with this person. All right, I'm getting somebody still in love with their ex, but somebody was horny. I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that. I'm just, I got to keep it 100. All right, somebody wanted some sex, but I'm getting somebody was not in love so, or somebody's not in love here. All right, I'm getting somebody still missing their ex a lot. All right, let's see. Or somebody does not show you the love that you thought they would or the love they showed somebody else. Yeah, we have let go of control. Somebody is detaching from the situation. Yeah, we have you deserve love and then we have separation. There's definitely a breakup here. You guys are definitely going to be separated. I'm getting to somebody is leaving a job where you guys worked together. But I'm getting somebody is definitely, somebody is definitely feeling the separation. What is the, What is separation? But I'm getting you guys are going to come back together because this energy right here is too powerful to ignore or to deny. All right, but I'm getting somebody had to learn a lesson. Something was karmic. Somebody had to learn that, you know, you ain't fucking with me. All right, what's the uh, separation? Yeah, we have stay optimistic. I'm getting you guys are going to get back together. Heart to heart conversation. So I'm getting if there was a third party, that shit is over and done. The third party had to had to learn to stop being a fucking home wrecker. And you had to learn to stop choosing people over your empress. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.